So I have a bit of a problem. I'm winning too many of my games. Now, while the average peon might be confused as to why this might be a bad thing, for anyone who's achieved a respectable amount of success within their league improvement can probably understand why this is a bad thing. In this video, I'm going to break down the nature of winning streaks, why I don't check my op.gg during them, and how to stop being consumed by your own winning streak. My name is Rabies and I'm a talentless monkey who started in bronze and got to diamond. Through my videos, I hope y'all can learn that literally anyone can get diamond. Before you forget, make sure to like and subscribe for more no BS league climbing content. The nature of winning streaks. Compared to losing streaks, which can feel like you're sinking further and further into the depths of depression and philosophical inquisition, winning streaks can obviously feel like you're on cloud nine. Everything is going well, the teammates you've been praying for have finally arrived, your opposition are playing like morons, and even the mistakes you've been making magically get covered up enough times to explode the enemy nexus. So it's all smooth sailing from here, right? You're just gonna ride this win streak straight to challenger? Or are you fuck? Shrieks in any capacity within League of Legends are only a temporary fixture. What you have to understand is that at the end of the day, it's all about simple variance. It's not something stupid like winners or losers queue. It's just the nature of playing games within competitive matchmaking. You're going to end up where you win a couple in a row and you're going to lose a couple in a row. Shit, shrieks happen in real life too. You take consecutive W's and L's in real life all the time. Does it happen every day? No, but it does happen. So this brings about the next question. Why don't I check my OPGG during a winning streak? The short answer is because it makes me nervous as fuck. When I'm on a winning streak, at first I'm excited and happy that I get to play with humans, but about four to five wins in, I start to get antsy. You know the winning streak isn't gonna last, so you try to play as much as you can. Almost like the win streak is a subscription and you have to maximize your window while you still can. I feel like that people that believe in winners and losers queue are more liable to fall into this trap than others. Seeing the lines of blue within your OPGG start to fuck with your head and you start to think that you're responsible for all these wins. This is where shit starts to hit the fan because there's a lot of pressure that gets heaped onto you because of your expectations of yourself. Another annoying thing about win streaks is the psychological investment of each subsequent win. Your brain is naturally hardwired to spot patterns and extrapolate some sort of causality from them. That's what leads to us overthinking and going down slippery slopes in our heads. With each win, you start to identify more and more as the quote unquote good League of Legends player or the winning League of Legends player. This is especially problematic because league is not like fucking tennis. You're not wholly responsible for any of your wins, but that's how most people are going to perceive it anyway. Once you start thinking of yourself as the winning player, you're completely at the mercy of Riot's matchmaking. One loss can snowball into 10 because you end up chasing that high of winning so many games in the past. This is further compounded by the fact that with each successive win, the less LP you get in return. The further you stray from Riot's internal MMR of your account, the less you'll get, at least in the short term, as the system attempts to recalibrate to your skill level. Now, this is fine if you're genuinely climbing. Lower LP gains will obviously slowly down but it definitely won't stop you from getting to your true rank. I'm living proof of that. However, if you've just managed to get lucky for the past few games, you're going to be in a world of hurt when those losses eventually start coming in. My advice here is to not let the losses get to you, but don't let the wins get to you either. What you should be focused on is your natural progression of skills, no matter how small they might be. If you attach your identity and self-image to improving instead of winning, I promise you that you'll enjoy League of Legends 10 times more. I am not joking when I say this. Why? Because your improvement is in your hands winning isn't. This is basically like Stoicism 101, but for people who aren't aware, you'll be generally a happier and more fulfilled person if you simply worry about the factors that you have control over, instead of incessantly stressing about every little fucking thing under the sun. Your improvement hinges on your ability to play with intensity, review with discipline, and have an average enough intelligence to figure out what the fuck you need to work on and tackle it without getting too personal. The only real skill that's being tested here is your ability to be consistent and stick with this process for a long enough period of time. While that might seem like hard work, it's way easier than trying to win every Every fucking game you queue into. Over my win streak, I keep having to remind myself of the things that I am personally responsible for instead of peeking at my OPGG and congratulating myself for going on this win streak, even though I know that I'm not the sole reason that we won. I know I make a lot of mistakes that would have lost me the game or at least made it very difficult if it weren't for me getting lucky with matchmaking and having good teammates. Don't be consumed by your successes. Don't let internal or external pressures get in the way of what you have control over. That's the lesson from this video. If you guys want more lessons like this, hit your boy with a like and subscribe and toss in a comment. I usually get to most of them. If y'all want to work with me one-on-one -on -one and accelerate your league climb, my coaching is currently only $10 a month. You'll have 24-7 access to me as well as shampoo consultation, four bot reviews a month, and access to more in-depth psychological tips and tricks like this one. If you're interested, join my Discord and DM me using the links in the description. These two videos on your screen would be the next landing spots from here. They both explore the concept of stoicism that we discussed in this video and further expounds on how to run up the ranks simply by focusing on yourself. I'll see you there. And as always, learn to carry your games and remember, anyone can get diamond.